A Sun Prairie boy suffering from a rare and painful skin disease is undergoing breakthrough treatment here in Minneapolis, all in hopes of finding a new life. Hope for a local family may be just across state lines. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Sarah Carlson. First tonight at 10, one in half a million are born with this disease, but only News 3's Andy Choi details the potential path to freedom from a lifetime of pain. All right, ready? Do you want a little help getting on? If you only knew. Is that okay? If you only knew what it took just to get on this bike, you would understand. On a path primed for wheelies. Is it too tight? LEFR Shelhua Romero's greatest trick may simply be hanging on. Just imagine the last time you had a burn, just a small burn on your finger. It bothered you for a week. These kids live in a phenomenally larger pain all the time. Close. There you go. These are the hands hanging on for life as epidermolysis bullosa, or EB, takes its damaging, often fatal course. Children that are born with this disease, they know on the first day of their lives because their skin peels off. The genetic disease leaves LDFR's skin so fragile. Is that one too hard? <sighs> it's likely to break and blister at the slightest touch. With his fingers and how sensitive they are, and he doesn't have fingernails, opening a pop tab was a big challenge. Since I usually don't have nails, and I'm not strength, I use this as a toy. That one kind of get your hand? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Is it okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, we'll do one more, okay? You can handle the pain. You can handle the pain. Very few have walked in the 11 year old shoes. Of those that have, even fewer grow old enough to fit in them. Two, three. But the chance four. at new life is prompting the Sun Prairie boy and his mother to hang on to hope at the University of Minnesota Amplatz Children's Hospital. And this is my question What happened with my son in the future if he stay? the same condition with a lot of pain. I don't want this life for my son. Margarita Romero says it's been a life spent bathing her son in bleach each day, then wrapping him in bandages from head to toe, all to avoid infection. So she's the one that helped me with everything. And I thank her for that as a mother's love mends the pain inside. Hey, you, you look good. You look really good. Thank you. Dr. Jacob Tolar hopes to redefine Eliafar's exterior expression. Part of what we are doing is we are trying to restore the skin to its original state, if you will, or healthy state, so that he can have what we all take for granted. To have the skin I've always wanted to have. Dr. Tolar's team discovered stem cells from bone marrow transplants could heal wounds and regenerate skin in EB patients. Elia Farr is one of two dozen who have received the transplant through an Amplatz clinical trial with marrow from his older sister, Lizeth. In the weeks following the August procedure, doctors noticed an immediate improvement. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for this opportunity. You're very welcome. I'm learning from you, you know. That's, that's an important thing as well, because you are helping other kids by what you are going through. Thank you. He is a unique child, you know. He has really been extremely brave in taking this enormous amount of pain and suffering with grace, with ability to see something better. My skin's getting stronger. I'm getting stronger. Here he comes. Let's go. Okay. Let's go that way. Now that you know what it took to get All to right. this point, you're free. The question remains: Will the destination be worth the trip? <sighs> Should we take a break? No, let's go. Every day, Eliafar grows more familiar with his new skin. Oh my gosh, this is all you. But to be comfortable in one's work, own buddy. soul means enjoying the ride. You're never gonna catch me. 
wherever the long road goes. Elliot Farr and his mother are staying in Minneapolis through the Ronald McDonald House as doctors continue to monitor his progress. They hope to be back in the Madison area with their family just in time for Christmas. Now, everyone said, wow, an amazing difference since that transplant. Do doctors think that they could be close to a cure for this? They may be close, but it really is too early to tell. The first round of clinical trials, actually, uh, the first round of clinical trials started just five years ago. And since then, Dr. Tolar says some children have died in the process of this high risk high reward treatment. The biggest challenge is battling the chemotherapy that comes with this transplant and that's why you saw Eliafar without his hair there. The key is in finding a combination that minimizes collateral damage to the body while maximizing the clinical benefits of the transplant and it's going to take more research so if you'd like to learn more about the research and even donate to the cause we have a link provided on our news link section at channel 3000.com. Well, there are no words for what a brave and amazing kid that is and we wish him well. Let's get an update on him down the road. Absolutely. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Andy.